So if we zoom out to the system away from the host star, you'll see all seven planets with the habitable zone indicated here in this blue region. The innermost planet in the habitable zone is TRAPPIST-1e, which is a really interesting planet for a number of reasons. It's very close in size to Earth. It also is see, is, receives about the same amount of, of uh, light as Earth does in our own solar system. This means that in TRAPPIST-1e, you could have temperatures that are very, very similar to the ones that we have here on Earth. The next planet out is TRAPPIST-1f. Now, this is a potentially water-rich world that is, again, about the same size as Earth. Now, TRAPPIST-1f uh, TRAPPIST has about a nine-day orbit, and during that time, it receives about the same amount of sunlight as Mars does in our own solar system. And the final planet in the habitable zone of the TRAPPIST-1 system is TRAPPIST-1g. Now, TRAPPIST-1g is the largest planet in the TRAPPIST-1 system. It's about 13% uh, larger radius than that of Earth. And it receives about the same amount of starlight as somewhere in between Mars and the asteroid belt in our own solar system.